G'day, Steve Morgan here from Fishing Monthly Magazines on a beautiful morning here at Lakes Entrance in East Gippsland, Victoria. And got a great boat to review for you today. It's the Basco Tornado, which is a sort of an offshore boat. It's a small uh, footprint hull, but it's something you can fish a tournament as well. And we've just done that here on Gippsland Lakes. I've got Michael here from Basco Boats and I've got Wayne, who owns the boat, to find out a little bit about this, uh, this new Australian brand. And uh, um, Michael, you haven't... Uh, this isn't your first rodeo with boats. You've made big boats before, but you've delved into the fishing market. Give us a little bit of your history uh, about boat building. Oh, look, just always built um, bigger diesel sort of type displacement boats, and um, just got sort of, you know, sort of advised to have a have a go at sort of getting into these type of boats with a fair bit of help from Pete from Hurricane Lures, and um, yeah, it's gone well. You know, I'm enjoying it. Um, give us some of the, the technical specifications. Uh, this is a, a fiberglass boat. It's got no wood in it um, and it's built with all the modern materials. Give us the rundown. Okay, thermalite transom, full glass construction, uh, no timber anywhere, um, moulded glass stringers, pump full of flotation foam, uh, very rigid design, no, no tagging anywhere, old fashioned design. The, um, the hull is fully glassed on to the deck so there's no lightweight materials used like it's sort of basically built to be taken out and used as you should use a boat or shouldn't use a boat depending on who you speak to. Now it seems like this uh, this hull here it's it's a very popular size you can run it on a single axle trailer it fits into a lot of garages yeah, yep. and it's a popular size for that crossover fishing like a lot of guys that fish inshore want to jump offshore on a day like today and a lot of offshore guys might want to take it and fish for some of the estuary species that shallow draft but seaworthiness how do you achieve that uh, that balance? Look, it's probably the size lends itself to it because it's not because you don't have like a six, seven metre boat. You can get away with a lot more. Deep V, uh, reverse chine, which makes it stable at rest. Um, yeah, it just sort of all works. It's just a size that works. You know, for a boat, its length, it's actually the beam is quite decent. So proportionally and then balance wise, the way it's put together, uh, the boat performs well. Yeah. yeah. So Wayne Major, you've uh, actually spent the weekend uh, fishing tournament in this boat. Um, it looks very capable for that sort of fishing. Uh, how do you enjoy your new purchase? Oh, I love it. I do. Um, I'm about to retire, so I'm at that age where I need a boat that can do a lot of things. This can do it. Yep. Um, it seems to be uh, very easy to handle, like pulling it on and off the trailer is okay. Um, Manoeuvring it around on a concrete pad would be easy with that single axle. Um, what other boxes does it tick for you from a fishing point of view? Uh, what sort of features? Well, I, I want to do a fair bit of offshore as well. This boat allows me to do that. It's still got all the features that I need out of a tournament boat. I came from a, an American bass boat, yep. a Triton. And, uh, this now serves every point that I need. Yeah. Um, impressive for me is that massive front tackle locker that fits rods and lures and everything in it, and you'll see some of it on cutaway at the moment. Just tell me how much tackle you can fit in that thing. It, uh, in this particular model, I can get eight rods in the uh, centre console, uh, and I can get six either side, oh, sorry, three either side, six. Yep. So 14 all up. Yep. 20 tackle boxes. It's a lot of tackle. And anyone that knows, uh, keen fisherman knows, that we like to take a lot of tackle out yeah. there. Um, the, from the helm point of view, uh, it's, it's a comfortable ride being able to stand up. Uh, I, that helps inshore as well when you want to see where the channels are and navigate through um, nasty country. But what about outside? How does it handle in the real rough water? Incredibly well. Uh, it really handles like a seven metre boat. It does. Um, I don't like standing up. I'm one of those unusual centre console owners that likes to sit down. Uh, because that slides forward and I'm only short, I I'm very close to everything and I'm comfortable. It's incredibly comfortable. Yep. Uh, well, there you go. There's a bit of a rundown of this boat from these guys, but we don't believe that. We want to put it on the water and test it for ourselves.
Well, there you go. I'm sure you'll agree with me that this Basco boat is a great looking boat, both on and off the water. You're sure it's going to turn a few heads at the local boat ramp. Uh, as it's set up, it's designed for both offshore and inshore fishing, and it does both remarkably well. Uh, the fact that Michael from Basco has got a long history in building boats means you know that this craft is going to be well built and back with great local after sales service. Um, if you're thinking of maybe importing a boat uh, price wise, these start from $50,999 with a boat motor trailer. You'll find that that's right in the zone when it comes to getting exactly what you want in this size range and a great deal. Um, the way that this boat's been set up with the 115 Pro XS Mercury, I think that 2.1 litre four stroke is a great match for this craft. And although the fuel metering isn't working perfectly in this boat at the moment, we got exactly the same speed figures as we did with the Basco Hurricane that we also tested today, which means that at 4,000 RPM you get 46 kilometres an hour at 2.4 kilometres per litre, and that's the maximum fuel economy. Wide open throttle with this thing trimmed up, you get 74 kilometres an hour, but that fuel economy drops by about 40%. Couple that with the 140 litre fuel tank and you get nearly 350 kilometres of the theoretical range, meaning if you want to go on a long weekend away, uh, you can do it without having to stash any extra fuel. Um, we really love the fact that this front deck has a centrepiece. It's the fact that it can hold a dozen rods, a dozen lure boxes and all your tackle out of the road and out of salt. And the attention to detail is great as well. The fact that all of these hatches have little holes that drain away the water, which means all of your fishing tackle you put in there that you spend all that money on, it's not going to get wet and go rusty. And that's a big thing with locally made boats. Not many of them have that sort of drainage facility to keep all your stuff dry. Um, Wayne, who owns this boat, absolutely loves it and we can see why. Um, um, it's set up to drive perfectly for him in a seated position, um, although you can drive it standing up as well. Um, the, uh, the Mercury throttle is very trim sensitive. Uh, when, you, when you bring this boat up, you'll feel it pop out of the water and you'll see the economy and the speed uh, rise. But at that four to 5,000 RPM cruising range, the fuel economy is really good. Drop that trolling motor down, um, this boat gets into some pretty shallow water indeed. We did a little bit of fishing this morning and saw that we can get this boat into some country where the big brim, the big flathead and the big estuary species live. Um, the best thing though, you can talk to the local boat builder, you can get a Basco boat which suits your needs. Now these guys supply the boat on a single axle trailer which means it's pretty easy to manoeuvre in a, a standard uh, house garage. Um, that single axle uh, drags this thing comfortably on the road. I've seen Wayne doing some good speeds in this thing uh, on the road as well as on the water. Um, for, in for more information, make sure you go and like Basco Boats on Facebook. Uh, their website's coming together at the moment, but their Facebook page is a great place to see new models and updates. Um, as I said, the price for this boat, $50,999 for the boat motor and trailer, and then you can put your own accessories on to make it suit your style. Um, but if you want to spend a little bit less for a Basco, there's a Basco Storm available uh, for just over $40,000, and you can customise that hull up to suit you. So anything from that forty dollars to $50,000 price range, if you're into a, uh, an Australian-built estuary and offshore boat, give the Basco a look.